Hey everyone, I'm Vivi, and today I'm going to be doing my top 10 favorite Geller Pokemon. This list is kind of overdue. As you all know, the Geller region is the most recent region in Pokemon Sword and Shield, and it's full of so many great Pokemon. Although, it's not, it's not as many as, like, Gen 5, but at least it's more than Gen 6. I, uh, and in this list, I'll also be including Geller forms, just so you know. So, um, let's get into it. Number 10 is Cramorant. Okay, this might be a weird one, but I really, really like Cramorant. Like, obviously I like other Pokemon more, that's obviously why it's number 10, but... I, I think Cramorant's a funny Pokemon. It looks like a derpy seagull. And trust me, there are a lot of seagulls in the UK. <laughs> um, I also like how it, it's, um, it's not, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's its ability, but like it's, well, I guess it is its ability, where when it uses a, a water move, like surf or dive, and it catches a, what, I don't, an Aracuda, I think it's called, yeah, in its mouth, and shoots it at its opponents, I think that's really funny. It's, it's really disturbing, but also funny. And it also does it with Pikachu as well, which is just, n no. I don't know what you were thinking about that, Game Freak, but that's a little disturbing, to be honest. And it also has a really cool shiny form, which also could be based on a seagull that fell into curry and got dyed orange. Curry? Hmm? <laughs> so, that's basically all I have to say about Cramorant, but yeah, I think, I think I, I like it a lot. But if you want to have a Cramorant about it, then I won't touch you. Number 9 is Ice Cube. Okay, a lot of people hate this Pokemon, but I actually do kind of like it. It's so cute. <laughs> and I just like penguins. Obviously, it will it never beat Piplup as the best penguin Pokemon. Um, but it's still nice that we ha finally have another penguin Pokemon. I've wanted another penguin Pokemon for a while now. So I'm really, really glad that we got it. Although, I don't, I don't like it when it's, it, when it gets, cause like, it's Ice Cube kinda like a shield, like it's like Mimic usability, and then when it gets hit, it's Ice Breaks, and you can see it's real head, and I don't like it's real head, I like it's Ice Cube head. <laughs> and I like the little hair on the top, it's really cute. It's a shame it's only a 1% encounter though, cause I'd like to see it more often to be honest. Although, it was really, really hard to find cause of that, I will say that as well. But, and, oh, and it has a really nice shiny as well. I forgot about that. So, yeah, that's my opinion on Ice Cube. Um, I, I know a lot of you don't like it, but I really, really like it. And so does my mouth. Like, <laughs> so that, that's, that, that's, that's funny. Number eight is Surfetch. I am so sorry that this is the third bird Pokemon in a row, but I like birds. Okay? Like, I really, I, I like birds a lot. Ironically, um, but in all seriousness, though, Surfetched is the long needed evolution for Farfetched, so that's why I like it so much. Although it looks too similar to Farfetched, I think its design is kind of funny with its lance. It's not a sword; it's a lance, and its shield. And I, I just, I just like it so much. And like I said in my my video about Surfetched, I hoped it'd have a nice shiny, and I was kind of right. But also, a little disappointed, because, like, I get it shiny makes sense, it's a yellow duck, but it could have been better. Also, I never knew that, I never thought that I'd get a, that Farfetch'd get a Galaria form, but Galarian Farfetch'd is cool too, but I, I prefer Surfetch over it, to be honest. But, and also, there's a Surfetch plushie, but I'm not going to buy it, because, like, it's not worth it. <laughs> and it's so funny, I'll, I'll see if I can get a picture of it, and I'll put it here, but... It's really funny, and I think some of you should look into it, because it's really funny. But, yeah, that's everything I have to say about Surfetch. Oh, wait, actually. I didn't use it on my team, because I played Sword first, but... So, Shield first, sorry. But, yeah, I still like it. Number seven is Poltegeist. Yay, it's not a bird! <laughs> Poltegeist is a really, really cute Pokemon, and it just makes so much sense. Although, I don't like how, like... I don't know how to explain it, but it has two forms, and like they're really hard to tell apart. Because the only difference is a little authentic tag at the bottom of the teapot. Because like one has a fake teapot, and the other has an authentic teapot. And I wish you could tell the difference more easily. Because like, that was a mistake on your part, Game Freak. Also, it's pre-evolution Sinistee. I knew it was going to have a pre-evolution that was a teacup. I just knew it. Like, and it 
was so funny. <laughs> Although, what doesn't make sense is that Sinistee's eyes are on the actual teacup, while Poltegeist's eyes are, you know, the actual Pokemon. So, like, what's going on there? I know it's possessing the teacup, but, like, come on. Also, I like how it, it, it multiplies when it drips into tea. It sounds a bit disgusting, but, l like Adrian William said, it's kind of like gremlins. So that's funny. And it has a cool shiny, even though only the teapot changes, but I predicted that, so that's fine. And I, I didn't use it on my team, but I, I, did, I do have one, obviously, with Pokedex. And it's really cute, and I'm glad it's a Pokemon. <laughs> Okay, so before I say number six, I just want you all to know that the last six Pokemon on this list are were all on my team throughout the whole game. Like they're the Pokemon I did the the league with, and they they've all been on my t my team. They're still on my team. Well, n no, but not no, because I'm currently shiny hunting and I need the space. But they're, when I'm done, they'll, they're all on my team. So just so you all know that. So number six is Yamper. Yamper is so cute. Uh, I I like it. Don't like it as much as Rockruff, obviously, because you know. Nothing's ever going to beat Rockruff as the best Pokemon of all time, in my opinion. So, um, it's, it's that, but it's still really cute. And the little, its little tail and its little love heart on its bottom, sorry, and and its, its little green eyes and its tiny little paws, I just love it. I like its evolution bulk tons, but I think I just prefer Yamper a tiny bit more. I guess you could say they could share this spot, but I'm just going to talk about Yamper. Well, the one thing I don't like about Yamper is that its tongue is always sticking out. Cause like none of the other dog Pokemon's tongues are sticking out all the time. So why is this one? I think I think Game Freak shouldn't have done that, cause it's a tiny bit gross. But still, Yamper is an adorable Pokemon, and I'm really really glad that I was able to use it on my team because it was really fun to use. Actually, it was really fast when it evolved into Bolt Tongue. Uh, what did I name mine again? I, I it was a girl. I'm gonna check the name and put it on the screen because I actually don't remember what I named her. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, and it, it, I wish I had a better shiny. Yeah, for, I almost forgot about that. It, like, it, shinies are not that good. Like, Boltons is okay, but Yamper, you could have had a better shiny. Uh, maybe a blue dog. Actually, no, because Rockruff is blue. So, yeah, that's basically everything I have to say. <laughs> Number five is Ponyta. I love Ponyta so much. It is so beautiful, and it's such an improvement of Kintonian Ponyta. It's like I'd even say it, and I'd put it on my one of my top ten favorite Pokemon of all time. I I'd probably say that. I like I the other Pokemon are still new, so like I w I, I wouldn't really go that far yet. But I just love Ponyta, and how its mane is all like can change color, and it's rainbow, and I just love it. And before you say, I think Rapidash is a terrible terrible new form. Like, it's actually kind of ugly, to be honest. Like, like it looks like Rapidash. Like, okay, but its hair is, like, dreadlocks. Like, like why would you go from, like, like fluffy candy floss looking hair to that? Like, that's just no game freak. Like, if its hair was fluffy like Ponytail's, then I'd like it a little bit more, but... And, oh, and another thing. It should have had wings. Why would you not give Rapidash wings, Game Reek? Like, oh my god. But, I, I, it's okay because it doesn't change anything about Ponyta. Although, I don't, I don't like how it's shiny form, they only changed, the, like, they only switched the yellow and pink around. But, that's still though, I, I, I knew it's only its main would change, I knew that from the beginning, because, like, it was a little obvious. <laughs> and, I, I still love this Pokemon, it was obviously on my team, like I said. I named her Moonlight, and she was not actually not the strongest member of my team, but she still won a few battles for me. Also, one, although one thing I do have to say about Rapidash, I'm really glad that it's a fairy type, because Ponyta should have been a fairy type, let's face it. But, at least Rapidash is a fairy type. But, that's all I have to say about Ponyta. She's, she's a really good improvement of the original Ponyta. She's adorable, and she's basically the gay pride horse. Like... I'm, I'm not even, <laughs> that's basically what she is. Number four is Obstagoon. I love this Pokemon so much. I'm not counting it as a Galarian form because it's technically a new Pokemon, but I just love it so much. And even, even Zigzagoon and Linoon, well, 
not that much lighter, but 67 is such a big improvement of the original. It has so much personality, but this was, this is about Obstagoon, not Zigzagoon. And like, Obstagoon was on my team, and I loved him so much. I named him Simmons, I think you can all guess why. And he was such a strong team member. Um, I just, I loved him so much. He was so great to use. Yeah, he's four times weak to fighting, but I played shield, so I didn't have to fight in the fighting gym. So that was, that was lucky. But, like, I just, I, lo I don't even know what else to say. I just love this Pokemon so much. It's definitely one going to be on my top ten favorites, so, like, probably. Probably. Because, like, I still like my other favorites, obviously. But, a lot of these Pokemon, they're, run they're like, runners up. Yeah. Like, the, like this Pokemon's just so cool. And, it, and I love it. And it has a great shiny. It looks like Colgate. <laughs> and, or Aquafresh, I think, actually. Yeah. But, yeah, that, that's all I have to say about it. I'm sorry, I just, like, I love it so much, but I, I just don't have any words to say about it because it's just so amazing. Like, I, I love it so much. This is one of my, this will always be one of my favorite Galar Pokemon. Like, always. <laughs> Number three is Nickit. I love this Pokemon so much. It's so beautiful. And... A few of you aren't going to be happy about this, but I love it more than Vulpix. <laughs> this is the better Fox Pokemon. I, I suppose Eevee, but Eevee's like... It's kind of debatable on whether Eevee's a fox or a cat. Because like, I'd say a fox, but some people say cat. But back to Nickit, it's one of the best Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. I feel like this one is definitely going to be my top 10 favorite Pokemon of all time. Because like, it's just so cute, and it's so pretty, and I love its tail. Like... Like, there's nothing wrong with this Pokemon. Oh, right. Okay, some of you aren't gonna like me for this either, but... Feeble is... So ugly. Like... It's... It, it looks just... Like, I obviously evolved my Nikit, but... Feeble is so ugly, and it has a mustache. Why would you give a fox a mustache? Like... No. Just no. You ruined such a great Pokemon. Like... Nikki is one of the one of the beautifulest Pokemon I've ever seen in my life, and then you give it that as an evolution. Like, no, thank you. I named my Nikki Diablo though. <laughs> um, I don't remember where I got the name from though. I just it just came to me. Um, but I, I and it has a beautiful shiny as well. Yeah, I actually got one like re really recently, and I love it so much. I named it Silver because like obviously a silver fox. Um, and I just love I love this Pokemon to death. Like, it's that great. And I want a plushie of one. So bad. I'm definitely going to try and get a plushie of this Pokemon because that would be so great. Because I love this Pokemon so much. Like, <laughs> just so much. Because I, I, I was... I, I am, like, my five members of my team. Like, so, number two and number one. And then Ponyta, then Yamper, and then, um, who else? Obstagoon. Like, those were the, all my team members from the start. But I was always doing my sixth member, and then when I saw Nickit, I knew that she had to be on my team. And then it evolved, and I didn't like it. I still kept it on my team, of course, but... Like, Feeble is just so ugly. And I'm so sorry to, to all you Feeble fans, but it, I, it's just really ugly. Number two is Corviknight. Corviknight is so beautiful, and I love it so much. And I, I even love it... Well, it's three evolutions too, because you know they're pure flying types, and we haven't had a pure flying type since Gen Five. So, like, thanks for that, Game Freak. You finally did something right. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Game Freak do everything right all the time. Maybe not, but still. Um, Cor Corviknight is like when the moment I saw it, I knew it had to be on my team because like it's just it's so pretty, and you know cr crows are really common in the UK and even in America as well, and other places, but. Like, they're really common here, like, there are crows everywhere up where I live, and it just reminds me of home, really. <laughs> and it looks more like a crow than Murkrow, I'm gonna say that. And I would have made it a dark type, but, like, the steel type is good because it has a lot of resistances. And it has a cool shiny, I am currently hunting it, and I have not found it yet. Obviously I'm breeding for it, so it's a shiny rookie first, but uh, I'm gonna evolve it into a shiny Corviknight. The shiny actually looks more like a steel type. Like, maybe... Maybe one thing I would have done, I would have made its shiny form its normal form, and then its normal form its shiny form. Because, like, 
At least it looks more like a steel type in its shiny form. But, that's just my opinion. I don't know what you guys will think. But, that's all I have to say about Corviknight. <music> Number one is Sobble. I think you all saw this coming, but... Most of the time, the starters are my favorite Pokemon of the generation. Although, <laughs> I am gonna just say this at the beginning. Inteleon is creepy. Like, I don't hate it, but it's really creepy and I prefer Sobble. And like, I don't really like any of the evolved starters. They're all so ugly. Especially Rillaboom. Like, what were you thinking, Game Freak? That, that is not what Grookey should have evolved into. I, I, I love all of the starters. Not equally, but I love Sobble more, but just like, their evolutions are terrible. Their first stages are fine, but their final stages, like, ugh. But, back to Sobble, it's so adorable. Um, I got a plushie of one for Christmas, you can see him right here. And, I just love everything about this Pokemon, because he's so cute. He has a great shiny, which I got. <laughs> and, I just love him so much. Like, I, I always knew he was going to be my starter, because I always pick the water starters. And, he, he was really strong, he was the strongest member of my team, and I just love him so much. He's he's perfect in every way. Although, the fact he has the same ability, like, not ability as in, like, hidden or, you know what I mean? But the same, like, ability, I'm just gonna say, as Vaporeon, where he, he can melt into water and make himself disappear, like, that's a bit lazy, but he is a water chameleon, so it makes more sense, to be honest. But, yeah, I love Sobble, and... I also love Drizile, and I'm telling you I'm not a fan of, but Sobble, you're great, and I love you. And even though he's always sad and always crying, he makes me happy. So, at least that's something good for him. But, that's all I have to say about Sobble. Well, that was my list of my top 10 favorite Gen 8 Pokemon. Let me know who your favorite Galar Pokemon is. And, please like and subscribe. And remember, if you're anything nice about to say about Sobble, he'll make you cry, because that's one of his powers. And I'm Vivi, and I'll see you next time. Bye!